What did Wednesday's first win of the season mean to you and this staff and the many young players in that locker room? I think that it just helped validate the work that everybody has been putting in. You know, I, I have an opportunity to speak to the media often about our situation. And uh, when I see our young guys go into the gym and spend the time, quality time that they do, it, it enables me to confidently speak to the, to the press and to the public that we feel we're doing the right thing. And I think the other night uh, it helped validate the work that these guys have been putting in. Brett, as we heard in that piece, you're very honest. Earlier this week, you said some of your players were in all the Spurs. Then that dribbling comment after the Timberwolves game. The average age is 23, youngest in the league on this roster. How would you describe this coaching challenge for you? I mean, where do you begin? Um, I, I left Disneyland with Pop in San Antonio. We, we won 50 games every one of my years. Went to five NBA championships, won four of them. And so to come in now and have the challenge of coaching, it is, it's the youngest team in the history of the sport uh, with a team with the least experience. And so the challenges are all over the place from trying to grow the team to, to make sure they don't feel deflated, that they feel good about themselves. We've centered everything that we're doing on development. And um, the challenges are enormous with the city. We're building a new practice facility. Uh, the responsibilities are all over the place, but I love it. And um, even knowing what I know now with two draft picks not playing this year, I'd take this job 50 times out of 50 times. You would. Okay. Now, what would you say to people when they bring up that word tanking? Um, I, I think you'd invite them into our gym. And, you know, you'd watch young guys just zoom into a video session. You'd watch young guys pay attention to sports science and, and our real focus on trying to educate 20-year-olds on the importance of taking care of their bodies. Uh, you'd watch pre-practice work with all the development stuff that we do. You'd watch the pain on their face when they lose multiple games. Uh, you'd watch the joy on their face when you walk into a locker room after we were close to breaking, you know, a, a record. And I think that the, we, we, everything we're doing is about winning. I, I coach to win. I talk about winning. We, we plan to win. We prepare to win. And... Um, you know, I, I get why it comes up, but it's not even close. Okay, Brett, there's no question about the effort of, of the players. If, if you watch the Sixers day in and day out, I, I think the question is, are you getting enough help from the front office with established players on the court? I mean, it's all part of the plan. I, I think the thing that that everybody, when I left San Antonio, you know, the main uh, focus was, is, is, is the, are the owners aligned? Uh, Josh Harris and David Blitzer have been beyond great. Uh, Sam Hinkie's strength is analytics in trying to find, you know, players that, that have a chance to be keepers in the NBA. And our whole path was about rebuilding. And so we, we wallowed in our opinion in mediocrity for over a decade, winning 38 games. And we felt that if we wanted to do or needed to do something special, we had to take this drastic type of measure. And I, I knew what I was getting in for. I love coaching these young guys. It does come with pain. But um, I, I think, you know, the plan has been in place and all of us are on board together.